Hi guys, so I'm gonna start to do a voiceover for this one because I think it's easier. So to start off, you're going to place one strip of tape down the center front and mark the center front. And this will be your base piece of tape for when you take everything off. And if you didn't see before, the tools you need are just a marker or pen, some masking tape, and some scissors. And then you want to start laying the tape across the dress form, making sure that you cover the last piece of tape with the new piece of tape so that when you pull it all off, it all comes off as one big piece. Now when you get to um, certain parts of the dress form where the dress form naturally curves, you'll have to uh, make little slits in your tape to release the tension like we do with fabric regularly. So you just snip in a little bit and you press it down so that it forms flat and there's no bubbles or any creases or anything like that. And you also want to make sure that when you're wrapping this tape around, you're going all the way around past the side seam so that when you do the back side, it still comes off all together and you don't have two separate pieces because you're going to have to cut down the side seam so that you can have the front and back. So you want to keep it all together. So make sure you go all the way past the side seam. I hope that makes sense. Like saying it, it doesn't seem like it does, but I hope you can get it. So eventually you'll go up to the neck and you'll have to slash and spread on your neckline as well. And then uh, around the armhole too sometimes. And then you'll just do the exact same thing for the back side, making sure that you mark your center back. Because as you can see from the video, the line that we made makes it clear where our center front is. So we'll know where to redraw our line when we go in to design whatever we're making. And a little note, when I finally got all my pieces off and together and on muslin, uh, I realized that I could have made, um, I could have made my shoulder a little shorter, as in from my neckline, because when I sewed it together and I have a collar, it's literally right on my neckline and that can be very painful. So that's just a little note, something that I wish that I had fixed before. And yeah, that's all. So now here I'm just drawing in the shape of my armhole, my neckline, my side seams, my center back, everything that you would normally do on muslin if you were draping with muslin. And the only difference is you don't have to make darts or anything because you're gonna naturally draw those in and you'll see them when you um, put the tape on paper. Make sure you're marking your notches and you're going to draw in where you want your bodice to end. I'm doing more of a um, halter top rather than a full bodice. And then you just draw in your seams. You can adjust it how you like. It's all up to you here. This is the design process. It's completely whatever you like.
Now we're gonna start taking it off and you wanna make sure this all stays together. So I like to go with that one long strip of tape that we put down in the center front and the center back initially. And I like to work with that. And I'm gonna pull it off to about the armhole and then I'm gonna go around and work on the back. That way I don't rip anything. You wanna be extremely careful with this because it's easy to rip this tape or leave a piece behind accidentally. So just take your time, move slowly. I move super slow here, it's just sped up. But this took me, it took me a little while just because I wanted to make sure I didn't rip anything off. Now that we've gotten all our pieces off and we cut them down our lines, we're gonna place them on paper. You'll need to do some slashing to release tension here as well, which is perfectly fine because when you have, you know, curves, you typically have to release tension to get them to lie flat. So that's all I'm doing here. And then I'm going to fix the lines, perfect them. And then I'm gonna add three eighths inch, which is also a centimeter seam allowance. And once all of that is done, you have your pattern pieces and you can cut them out on muslin, sew them together and test the fit. Thank you. 